Hi, welcome to this session on how to develop a shopping cart in Flash. This is going to be a series of tutorials to create an online drop and drag shopping cart. So welcome to part one. In this session we're going to look at setting up the graphics and importing all the images. So let's get underway. First of all what we need to do is create a new action script file. And once we've done this, we then need to use our design and have a good idea of what size our stage is. If we would like to change this, we need to go to Modify, Document, and we can actually increase the size of our stage. So in, at the moment, it's 550 by 400. I'd actually like to change the dimensions of this and actually change the height to make it 500 by 550. This will actually give us a slightly taller stage and give us a more work area that we can actually participate in. So it's really important that you do your GUI to have an understanding of where all the objects will place on screen. So let's move to the next part. We need to prepare our images. What I'm going to do now is import the images into my library. So I'm going to import and bring them straight to the library. So it's not just trying to import the images to the stage because they can be harder to manage. If you bring them into the library, you can then quickly drag them onto the stage and give them instance names. So I find it much easier to use the library to manage my images. So once you've located your images, so in this case here, I'm going to my desktop and I'm heading to my shopping cart. And in here, we've got shopping cart images. And there's a series of images that are in here. I'm going to actually take all of them at this point of time into my library. So once I click on the library, or if you go up to window, you can actually um, view your library up here and once you're here you can actually click on each of them and you can actually select the objects that you want to have on your stage so what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm actually going to um, put my logo out on the stage so I'm going to just click drop and drag and I'm just going to put that up in the top right hand corner because I'm probably not going to use this area as part of my design the next thing I want to do is actually place all the elements on my stage so one of the things I'm going to have is a rugby top and I'm going to transition that so I'm going to go command T or if you wanted to, you can actually click on the icon with the four squares and actually slide that down and make it smaller. Now, it's much better if you actually prepare these images before you bring them in. So in Photoshop or some graphic editing program, it's a good idea to actually clear the white backgrounds. But because I'm using white on white, I should be fine. But the problem is you will get overlap with the white when it goes over another object, you will see that. So it's very important that you actually prepare the images in Photoshop before you bring them in. But that is another tutorial that you may want to watch. So once we've done that, we can actually bring in another t-shirt. And once again, we need to rescale this down to something that's more appropriate. And we need to bring something else in as well. So we might head down and bring the socks in. So there we go. And once again, it's an oversized image and we shrink that down. Okay, so these are going to be our three objects that we want to be able to purchase. The next thing we need to do is actually set up our collision sort of objects. So let's have a look at our shopping carts. This one here is the minus. So if we want to remove something from a shopping cart. We need another one to um, add to the shopping cart. So I'm going to use this one here. There's several different ones you can find online or you can design your own. So this will be add, this will be subtract and the last one I've got that I want to be able to use is actually clear the basket. So I want to be able to actually delete the objects out. So what I've done now is placed all the objects on stage just to reinforce the whole cropping idea. If this object comes across you can actually see at the moment it's okay but if I layer them on each other and we'll run this at the moment you can see the cart is cropping the sleeve just there so we will have a problem with the layering of that but we can work on that a little bit later if we need to but it's best to make sure you crop all the images before you bring them in so use something like a magnetic lasso or the magic wand to trim out all the white and put them on a transparent background okay so that concludes the very first part of our tutorial of preparing images and bringing them in and placing them on our stage